Obviously a cloud a cloth outfit. Okay. Let's open this one and protect against confused, but I'm alright with just a th plus three defense. I'm just fine with that. Alright, we're gonna fall down the hole. We have options. I'm, I'm choosing the hole that's probably wrong. We'll see. Treasure chest goodies. Definitely not wrong. Fire-based weapon in the ice dungeon? Yeah, I think this will be good. Yeah, that bugs me. Damn it. Oh, come on, I was doing my thing. Oh, do I? I probably don't even need to break this down anymore. We're gonna need another ball. I don't trust that I'm gonna not gonna get critted or something like that. I don't even know if I can get critted, but I don't want to take that chance. Definitely, when I get to where the boss is most likely at, I'm definitely gonna wanna go back and get healing items. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh, no explosion there. Normally my head causes explosions, that's some bullshit. God, that's awesome. Come on. Alright. I think this means that when we put it in there, the Yeti's gonna be healed. I think what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go back and save. Because I'm guessing that's probably the point. Once we, once we get that Yeti going, he's probably going to not be blind with rage, but be blind with bringing us right to the boss, if I had to guess. And as it stands now, I do not feel comfortable fighting a boss at all with the amount of healing items I have. Especially not if I have to do this whole dungeon again. I'm still not sure how game, o game overs work in this game. Running. Well, I'm running as well. Excellent, the bridge wasn't that far away at all. Let's get some of them pyro rings. Some of those great. 
grass pens are. I like those. Ha! Huh, it's already worse, and I didn't have to waste my money on it. I like that. Now we save. I'm not gonna leave it here. We're gonna go fight the boss. I have some time for a little bit longer set. not to put that enemy in a more bitch place. I like this, though. The difficulty's ramping up a bit. I can handle that. I'm hoping this heals my wounds as well. sound like the elephant from fucking Diddy Kong Racing. That's a Yeti voice. Oh, I can always use that. Life up nine, strength up two, defense up three, hells yeah. I'm guessing you have to fall down for this treasure chest, but just in case, let's try and jump it. Yeah, we definitely gotta fall from above. Magic rock. I think I see what they want me to do. Never mind. You better not put an enemy in right at the top of this. Okay, good. But, uh, I like that I'm killing those guys enemies very efficiently now. They're becoming to be they're beginning to become a problem. We got a path up there, and to the right we have Consistent, sir. That's like the only way that I can see is to jump down, but he doesn't want to jump down. There's gotta be something more to this. There's gotta be something. I 
don't see, the thing is, I don't see a vine over there in that area where those enemies are at, so... We got a little breakfast nook here. Oh god, no, I thought... Oh, why are you doing these things to me? No, I don't want to fight the boss yet. Son of a bitch! Oh god, it's not even a boss, it's an avalanche. Fuck me! I would actually let- oh god, no. Did I just die? Thank you, mountain goat. Awaken to find the concerned look of a mountain goat. Good, you've come too. We appear to be trapped. Can you walk? Uh, no problem. Ark, <laughs> Ark isn't gonna give up that easily. Who the fuck's Ark? That's me. Oh god, he's gonna eat me. We're both trapped. Oh no. There's just a dead mountain goat over here. That's fine. It's, uh, sorry about your husband. You know, we could probably eat him, though, and, and survive a little longer. Oh god, why is it getting all dark? <laughs> Here comes the night. Yay! Slumber party! Ark's excited. Nah, not really. Yeah, don't don't be getting any ideas there, girl. Oh, Ark, don't do it. You don't need to. Is this like the first aim in the game and I get all my health back? Because that would be sweet. The mountain goat just eat through the wall or what? What? <laughs> this mountain goat has like explosive horns. Yeah, we can eat your husband. Holy shit, did they actually go in there? No way. I was just joking. I can't believe they're going somewhere this dark. Right. We always cannibalize on our spouses. God, I can't believe they just went this... Um, no, no. That's too bad. I'll just have to eat you. God damn. I mean, you had, like, TNT on those things from the sound of it earlier. No! Don't do it, the ice! Don't hurt the ice! You know, we probably could have done that before we started cannibalizing on your husband. <laughs> Use your horns again? to persevere. 
God damn. You know, that's one thing I always like about the Quintet games. They can get crazy dark sometimes with their themes and their plot lines. I mean, I'm not saying there wasn't any other Super Nintendo games that were that... Actually, this is probably... <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's probably the darkest theme I've seen, is cannibalizing on your spouse. I mean, even if it is a mountain goat. Alright. Where do we go from here? I think I saw we could go down. This is good. Well, we'll head over here first. Oh, this is the same place I was before, I see. Let's try taking the right path this time, then. I'm just curious what was over here. Actually, yeah, I should be able to get that treasure chest in the other path now, too, I would think. Why don't I grab that first? That makes more sense. Because this one's going to make me jump and fall down, which is where I want to be after getting this treasure chest, I think. Here we go. Life potion, nice. That sounds delicious. Alright. Now we'll head to the right and hopefully drop down and grab that treasure chest. God damn it. At least I didn't get confused. I wonder if there's a way I could, like, not fail that avalanche section and somehow make it so the goat didn't have to cannibalize. It's a thought. I doubt it. But... I still want to get that. Maybe, maybe if I go down and around. That's, that's, I thought that was water. I thought that, I guess it filled in the lake. I thought that was the lake. I didn't think it was the abyss. Get over here, you goddamn. Come here, doggy. Son of a bitch. There we go. Alright guys, I think I'm going to leave this set off here for the day, but thanks for watching. This was a really good set. That that really threw me off guard, that scene. So, until next time, this has been Minotaur Zombie. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Later, guys.